Hi there, welcome once again to the Dukascopy TV studio. I'm Ben Jones. Alongside me to discuss their organisation Geopetrol is Mazen Torfik and Florent Veyer. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, hi Ben, thank you so much for receiving us and give us the opportunity to uh, present our group. Not a problem. So, can you begin by discussing very generally for us, what is Geopetrol? Thank you, the first uh, been for receiving today. Our group is started uh, 30 years ago, Geopetrol uh, International Holding, INC. Uh, you have the experience in the exploration, uh, prediction, uh, development. Um, yes, that's true. Actually, Geopetrol was, uh, as uh, Mr. Tofik said, uh, was uh, founded in, uh, 20 years ago uh, by a family. Uh, so it's a family group. So uh, it's pretty flexible. It's a group pretty flexible, uh, you know, uh, if we compare with a, 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 a listed company, for example. We are uh, very active in the uh, upstream sector, in the oil, oil business, uh, what we call the upstream, uh, upstream sector. That means that, 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 that is the exploration and production of oil. You, you've got three, three sectors, the upstream, as I said, it's exploration and production. You've got the midstream, it's all the transport, I would say, of, uh, of the oil, you know, like a pipe, uh, a truck, uh <coughs> boat, etc. And uh, the downstream is more refinery. So we have a good, uh, very large experience, very active in this sector in many countries. Okay, now your organization focuses on mature fields. So can you go about explaining how you? acquire these mature fields and, and why you focus on these particularly? Um, actually, we are a middle-sized company. So for us, it, uh, our strength would, uh, would be to develop those fields. So uh, this, is, this is really our strength. We, we actually, uh, we have some uh, proven reserve already. Sometimes uh, as in some countries, uh, it was producing, then they stopped or they just abandoned the, the field. And uh, there we, you know, we come, uh, I would say, uh, in the play, and uh, we, we start to develop uh, the fields um, by, uh, you know, we enhance the production by, uh, you know, uh, doing some seismic or, or um, uh, we, we drill some wells to test, we, we study the, um, uh, the structure, et cetera, et cetera. We, have, we do have some geologists uh, we have uh, some people to uh, make the interpretation of the seismic and then we can, uh, we can just uh, drill to get hopefully uh, some, uh, some oil. It, it's, 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 uh, it's not as easy as I s I'm saying, but uh, you know, it's like uh, it's a, it's a um, it's huge project, in generally speaking. Fantastic. Now, you've <coughs> focused in areas previously, I've seen like Vietnam, India, where, where are you looking for in the future? Where, where are you hoping to focus? <coughs> uh, our group, you have, uh, you have uh, the good strategy for the future. He see for long term uh, project in the future. Uh, also, he's looking uh, 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 more, uh, more opportunity for in the Middle East because the, the Middle East is very important for the oil sector. That, that's correct, that's correct. Uh, you know, we, we, you know we, we don't, you know, speak about uh, politics. You know, it's not our role. Uh, of course, we have to take it in consideration, but, you know, that, that's not our uh, aim here. Mm -hmm. We still are very interested in, uh, in, uh, in countries like uh, Iraq or, you know, some countries in, mid in the Middle East. Middle. It's, it's very important to be very active there and to be present there. Uh, of course, we are present in Vietnam. It's an offshore, that means in, 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 in the sea uh, project. It's a very huge project. But, uh, but still, uh, we cannot ignore uh, the, the, um, the Middle East uh, as, uh, you know, even though there are some politics problems now, but, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change anyway. So, um, yeah, we are very active in, uh, in all those countries. Very happy to be, actually. Okay, and finally, can you just <coughs> discuss how much can be gained from these mature fields? What, what's the sustainability of these fields? First, first we, 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 we'll get a, a concession. And then, uh, you know, it lasts, it depends. If we do the exploration phase, it can last uh, five or, you know, usually five years or something. If we found uh, some, uh, some, uh, some oil, 
if we are lucky and we find some oil, then we can develop and produce the oil. It can last for 20 years sometimes. So the usually the concession and the, the, the contract, uh, what we call the PSC, you know, the production uh, sharing contract, can uh, last uh, 20 years or even, even sometimes uh, even more, like uh, 20, 25 years. So, you know, it's, it's long-term project usually. If, um, uh, yeah, the, the oil is still, uh, we can still pr produce and the pressure is still there, we can last for, for, you know, for 20 years at least. But oil is a very, <coughs> very good sector, not, not, not just because of oil. It's, you know, in the, in, in the medicine and, uh, you know, it PVC, like a plastic, etc., it's very important. I'm not saying it's the best, but for the time being, it's a very, uh, very uh, useful for the human being uh, uh, life. Definitely. Florent, Mazen, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Do make sure you keep clicking back to Dukascopic TV, as we'll be bringing you plenty more updates and exclusive interviews. Bye for now.